Hey everyone, this is Josh with JR Whipco. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a supersonic rubber band. Let's get right into it. Alright, so what you're going to need for this is one pencil, three rubber bands, and uh, just, just thicker rubber bands so they're a little stronger. Uh, you're going to need one foot eight inches of paracord, 550 paracord, scissors, some hockey tape or electrical tape, which uh, most likely you would probably be using electrical tape, so. And then a lighter. So, yeah, so let's jump right in. Alright, so with the rubber bands, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna kinda tie them together like this, stick it through the other one, just pull it, pull it tight. Know, get a close-up of uh, what this looks like a little better. So you have to stick one through the other. See the rubber bands just like that. Pinch it, grab this end, stick it through that loop, and then pull it tight. So you can have four rubber bands if you want. Three is just uh, is uh, just what we're going to be using. You can have four if you want it to be a little louder. So yeah. Okay. So with the paracord, what you're going to do is you're going to do what's called gutting it and uh, that just basically means taking out the white strands in it so uh, we'll do that really quickly all right so we just gutted the paracord and uh, so you're gonna want to keep one strand of the inner core only one though the rest you can just throw away so now what we're gonna do with this strand is we're gonna make a loop like this hold it there make another loop, stick it through, we're just basically tying a slip knot, and then just tightening it up, making it all nice and tight, all right? And now we're going to fold it up like this. We're gonna get scissors and a lighter. And now this piece right here, the piece that's just sticking out, go like this. Just gonna cut it with a little bit, just a tiny bit, still on there. So it's kind of like that. You're gonna get the lighter, and you're just gonna melt it, just like that. Make sure not to melt the rest of the cord, and just kind of push it down with the lighter. Okay. So now this part's done, and now with this end, you can just melt that too. All right. Moving on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna take the rubber bands we tied together, and this uh, I guess you could call it a fall, sort of a fall. Um, and uh, so what we're gonna do is basically same thing we did with the other rubber bands, is we're going to slip this, make the loop a little bigger, slip this over. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit, not all the way, not so it's tight, but kind of just so it's not loose. Let's stick this through the other end, see it's like that. Let's take it through the other end. And then you're gonna wanna pull this knot through too. So it'll end up being kind of like this. Doesn't look the best, but uh, it'll work. So yeah, moving on to the next part. All right, sorry guys, we had to move, uh, move locations, but uh, <clears throat> so the, for the next part, you're gonna need your pencil, your scissors, your tape, and the paracord with the rubber band that we just finished. And for this, I suggest using electrical tape, but right now I just have hockey tape on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. All right, so you're gonna take the rubber band, and you're gonna find the exact middle of it, and then you're gonna cut it, just like that. All right, and now you're just gonna take some tape, about an inch away from the tip here, and you're just going to roll it a little bit, and then you're going to take one end, just stick it right on to the very end of the tape right there, and then you're just going to go over it once, and once you've gone over it once, you're going to come back around, and then you're going to do the same thing with this one, so that it's next, you don't want it on top, you want it next to it. So then you roll it back on just like that. All right, so this is what it looks like, see? So 
you just have it taped just like that and you just roll it tape it on there really tight so yeah and then you can tightly tightly tape it all the way around as tight as you can possibly make it it's hard kind of kind of hard to get on camera but just tape it as hard as you can so that it holds it on there really nicely all right yeah so then once you've got it really nice and tight on there you can uh you can tape tape down the pencil a little bit if you want to and then just get the scissors just cut it and then leave it there all right on to the next part all right so this next part here is uh we're just gonna take this strand all right and you're gonna fold it in half you're just gonna do about five six inches and just tie a knot Usually, if you were making a professional bullwhip, you would be using a different material for the cracker, and uh, you would actually be twisting it, but since this is just a fun little build, we're just going to tie it. I don't know if you can see it. Where's the camera? There it is. It's a little knot. And then you're going to cut it with your scissors about two inches away from the knot. So there we have it cut. Actually, I'm going to cut it a little shorter. All right, so now you're going to get the end of the uh, paracord on the rubber band, which we just attached to the pencil. And you're going to get the loop, and you're going to stick it over. And then you're going to bring it around. So it's like this. And you're going to stick it right through. So just like a half hitch knot. And you pull it nice and tight, slide it up to about right there since it'll slide up once you start cracking it and you pull it really tight as tight as you can don't worry the 550 paracord in its inner strands they won't break and then just do it one more time just to be safe all right once you pull it nice and tight all right time to test it all right so that's how you make supersonic rubber band now time to crack it so the way you crack it is you Hold it like this, and you stick your thumb right here, and then you can either hold this part or the end of the cracker. So you pull the rubber band back, and when you let go, you flick it forward. So yeah, that's how you make a supersonic rubber band with. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.